The official first day of summer is tomorrow, and naturally, more people are planning trips to the beach. But some of our local beaches are advising swimmers to hold off before they jump in the water because what's in the water could make you sick. Local 5's Robin Ogenye has the story. Neshota Beach has higher levels of E. coli in the water than what's safe. If you risk swimming in the water, it could turn your beach trip from fun to done. It's odd because the surface water standards are kind of different from the drinking water standards. So in your drinking water, no E. coli can be present. It can make you sick. Even just like one colony can make you sick. Um, whereas uh, a beach to have an advisory is 235. Um, an enclosure is 999, so you can see that difference there. Environmental researchers like Carmen with UW Oshkosh spend their time testing local waters to always have a running list of what bacteria is floating around. That information is shared online where the public can decide if they want to take a dip, but some beach dwellers say that information needs to be shared with everyone. I think that's a, a huge concern and definitely um, some health factors going on there if, if you went into the water. So I would definitely want to know and didn't realize that that was what's actually going on. E. coli can cause nausea, diarrhea and dehydration. But the bacteria is spread by the ones who spend the most time near the water. Seagulls are a source of fecal matter, um, dogs, raccoons, people. And Mother Nature sometimes can add to the problem. When we have these large rain events like we did this week, all the stormwater is basically flushing into the water at one time, causing, you know, spikes in E. coli because you don't know what's, you know, in the you know, stormwater at the time. So for the time being, you can make a splash, but at your own risk. We definitely come to the beach, but I would just be cautious and stay out of the water and um, still enjoy the same benefits of hearing the waves. Reporting in Two Rivers, Robin Oguinye, Local 5 News. Thank you, Robin. And to find out if there is an advisory for water in your area, you can visit our website, wearegreenbay.com. A link to that list is with this story under local news.